Hey everyone, you know, I wanted to do this video, um, after I got my Beauty and the Beast, uh, Blu-ray yesterday, uh, because this is a, <coughs> uh, obviously this is a fairly, uh, asked question sometimes when it comes to the Blu-ray formats, and even the DVD formats, you know, and that is, what is playable in what regions? You know, what's playable in what regions? Now, with DVDs, we pretty much know that they go by number. Region 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever. But with Blu-ray, they don't use numbers. They use letters. Region A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever. <coughs> right? So they use letters. But... Here's what's confusing for some people when it comes to, you know, what's playable. You know, we all know that if it's a Region A uh, disc, uh, Blu-ray, it's mostly here in America, if not in North America. We know if it's Region B, it's probably UK and Australia. Same with Region C, which I think is mostly Australia or something like that. Uh, but yeah. It's mostly it's mostly, you know, the regions. Now like I said, it could be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever. Like, for example, um, Blu-ray regions, the regions, and, and here's what's different about this. Here's what's different about this. There's only three letters, for three regional codes for Blu-ray. Three regional codes. Well, the DVDs have eight region numbers. <laughs> now, for Blu-ray, though, like I said, there's three region codes. Which is kind of cool, I guess you could say. Region A is East Asia, except mainland China and Mong Mong Mongol, uh, except for it's East Asia, except for mainland China and Mongolia, Southeast Asia, North America, South America, and their dependents. So if you have a Blu-ray like this, it's playable there. Region B is Africa, Southwest Asia, Europe, except Russia, except for Russia and Kazakhstan, whatever. Sorry if I pronounced that country wrong. Oceania, or Oceania, including Australia and New Zealand, and their dependents. That's right, Oceania, Oceania including Australia and New Zealand and their dependents. Region C is Central Asia, East Asia, mainland, which includes mainland China and Mongol Mong uh, uh, Mongolia only, South Asia, Central Eurasia, and their dependents. Now, that pretty much means if you have something that has all three codes on it, it's playable no matter where you're at. That's right. If something has region A, B, and C on it, you could play it anywhere. You know, when I got this um, last year, well, actually a few years ago, I should say, when I got this, um, a lot of people were wondering well, it can it be played? And I put it into my Blu-ray player, and it played. It played the special features, it played the movie, everything. And yes, it is PAL format, but because that PAL format is Europe, if you will, basically the UK and stuff, <sighs> except for what? Uh, excuse me. Except for Russia and Kaz uh, 
for, except for Russia and Kazakhstan. Again, I apologize, I apologize if I, I apologize if I pronounce that wrong. But yeah, you know, um, since it is a power format, obviously it's A, B, A, and B as far as I know. As well as I think it's also C. So, you know, how can you tell if it is, like I said, how can you tell if it is play playable? Like I said, the biggest secret or the biggest thing is to check the back of your DV your Blu-ray when you get it or before you get it. Check online if you're getting it off Amazon or wherever and make sure that it's playable. Make sure it's got the right region, that it's playable in your region, and you won't, won't have no problems no matter what you play. Because I know Zero Nizerak, Sean McLean, he got the same uh, movie from a from a viewer who sent him a package with it in, with the movie inside, and he has said that from what he's heard and from what he experienced himself, um, the special features on that on this Blu-ray did not play, but yet the movie did. Now my Blu-ray is a Philips Blu-ray. I got a Funya Blu-ray in the living room. I haven't tried it out on my Sony PS4, but as far as the Philips and the Funya go, they are both playable on every. Th the disc is playable on both of them, movie and special features. Now. The only thing I can think of with something like what Sarah Nicerex is going on is when the Sony PS3 came out back in the mid-2000s, around the same time the Xbox 360 did, that was at a time when Blu-rays will still look at like DVDs. DVDs, basically, unless they're region-free, uh, DVDs mostly will contain to one or two regions. Mostly, if you lived here in North America, you had region one. If you lived, if you lived, like I say, you lived here in North America, you had region one. If you lived in the Middle East, Western Europe, Central Europe, Egypt, French overseas territories, Greenland, Japan, Lestro, South Africa, and Swahili, or Swaland, um, you had region two, which would not be playable here. If you lived in Southeast Asia, Hong Kong, Maku, South Korea, and Taiwan, you had Region 3, which would not be playable here. Uh, region 4 in Austria, I guess Australia, as they were trying to say. Um, Central America, the Caribbean, Mexico, Oceania, and South America, Region 4, wouldn't be playable here. Region 5, the rest of Africa, former Soviet Union, the Indi, the Indi subcontinent, Monga, um, North Korea, uh, Moga, Moga, uh, Mongolia. If you had Region 5, it wouldn't be playable here, here in, the North, here in North America. It would be playable there. Region 6 would be mainly in China, same thing. Now, Region 7 and 8 are totally different. Region 7 is reserved for future use, found in use on protected screener copies of MPAA-related DVDs and media copies of pre-releases in Asia. Region 8 would be international venues such as aircraft, cruise ships, etc. Now, Again, the biggest difference between both, like I said, is unless it was region zero, which is basically free region, um, it wouldn't be, if you had region one, and let's say you lived in Asia, you can't play a region one DVD. But if you lived, but if you had a um, region three, or if you had a region three DVD, 
you'd be able to play it. The point is, it seems that when they did Blu-ray, like I said at first, um, they were on the same. They were kind of on this. They was thinking the same kind of thought process with DVDs. Like only certain regions can play it. Now I'm sure when Madman Entertainment released this on Blu-ray, they were on the they were the Blu-ray the Blu-ray portion. Yes, was on the rise. Still was still on the rise. But I'm pretty sure, I'm guessing that when they released this on Blu-ray, that it was getting towards a point to where it was okay to let the movie on the Blu-ray be played in all regions, like region A, B, and C, but the special features would not be allowed. It's like the Blu-ray players that were being developed would be allowed, would allow you to play the movie, but you would have... But you would have to have a Pacific Blu-ray from a certain region to access everything. Now, there's a lot of people, even when Blu-rays came around, and even when DVDs were around, or uh, started to come around, that when all these region codes and locks were happening, a lot of people would go out and buy, uh, blue, uh, buy region-free uh, DVD drivers, region-free DVD players, same, in the same way with Blu-ray. They would buy region-free Blu-ray writers or players so that they can watch the movies. And when, P when like I said, when the 360 and the PS3 came out, well, mostly the PS3, uh, that came out at the time when Blu-ray was just developing. And as it was just developing, again, it was still being looked at on the same level as DVD region wise so region wise they basically locked out anything you could play but as time went on and i'm sure at the time this got released they were slowly getting around that to where okay the movies can be played but not the special features but nowadays you play it on a regular blu-ray player with a, like mine like the one i have here in the living room and you pretty much have uh, a blu-ray player that could play anything they can play everything. Again, like I said, I haven't tried it on the PS4, but who, you know, I can't say whether or not it would do that. But the point is, the way you check on what is playable is you test it out of first. Is one you test it out because mostly nowadays every Blu-ray, mostly every Blu-ray, I should say, not all of them, but mostly all Blu-rays will have that A, B, and C code on the back, so you could play it anywhere. Like I said, not all of them, but some. And when you end up getting those from, let's say, other regions, like let's say UK imports or whatever, and they have the same saying on the back, of course you're going to want to test it out. When I got Beauty and the Beast the other day, I tested it out and it played. It looked good. So that, so, so on it, to, to, so to basically... So to basically answer the question as to what is playable on Blu-ray, region-wise, mostly everything. Mostly, not all, but mostly everything. Some exceptions may be Pacific, certain shows, movie, certain shows, maybe movies that are uh, connected or related or produced and made in certain countries and regions. So those might be the only exceptions. Everything else is okay. Everything else is mostly okay to play. So, like I said, there are a few exceptions. I'm not saying that there aren't studios out there still nowadays, even here in North America, that still go by, oh, it's only for one region, and you got to buy the other region copy if you want to play it, you know, in the UK or in, you know, in Asia or whatever. You know, you want to, you're going to have to buy a Pacific player to play it. There are still companies that do that, but mostly now, since it's almost been a decade since Blu-rays come out, well, actually, it's been a decade, going on a decade, uh, things have really evolved and have rapidly, well, not rapidly, but have slowly and if not steadily evolved 
to a point now where everything, movie and features, are playable across all regions, with a few exceptions, like I said. Like I said, with a few exceptions, it's playable across all regions. All regions. So, again, to answer the question, what is playable on Blu-ray region-wise? As of now, not all, but a majority of everything. A majority of everything, not all, is playable on Blu-ray. So, hopefully that answered you guys' question. Uh, hopefully this answered anybody's question about that, if they're still curious. Because, like I said, you know, you know, there are still Blu-ray you know, Blu-ray disc out there that are only specific to certain regions. Sometimes you'll get a Blu-ray that's just region A. Sometimes you'll get a Blu-ray that's just region B. Sometimes you'll get a Blu-ray that's just region C. And that's about it. And I think the reason they went in this direction to where now mostly Blu-rays could have all three regions on them is for the fact that they got sick and tired of the DVD format always coming up with this region zero, which would be a region free DVD. Because basically now you were able to take a region free a movie that would be almost like a bootleg, but it wasn't, and play it anywhere. So, uh, all honesty, again, All honesty, um, but in all honesty, nowadays you know Blu-ray, a majority, not every, not all, but a majority of mostly all movies and maybe even TV shows and specials that get released onto Blu-ray are playable. Are playable, and that includes special features. But again, I'm not saying everything is still. It's there's still, like I said, studios out there, independent, majorly. It still haven't accepted that, you know, uh, accepted that, accepted that fact that, you know, you can allow all regions to play a Blu-ray and not specifically limit it to one or two regions. So, hopefully that answered this question that anybody's had so far, even for the past decade. Let me know what you guys think down below. Respond if you like. Zero Nizerak, I would love to hear from you video-wise. Let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you all later.